back again in Wits Homestead's kitchen. We have a special guest today that's going to help us do this Hawaiian chicken crock pot meal. And this meal was requested by Linda from Heber Springs, and I thank you very much. Now, when we come back, our guest will be here to help us. Stay tuned. And my special guest is coming in now. And this is my beautiful granddaughter, Paige, and she is going to help put the things in the crock pot for us today. Okay, so here we are, Hawaiian chicken, and we're gonna start off with one fourth cup of soy sauce right there in the crock. So now, Paige is gonna help me do everything else. She's gonna put in one fourth cup of brown sugar, one fourth cup of orange juice, one fourth cup of ketchup, and two tablespoons of hoisin sauce. Let me tell you a funny story about our hoisin sauce. So. I went to take it out, dropped it, and the whole bottom of the jar broke. So I had to make it from scratch, which I've never done. It was so easy. So now I'm gonna make hoisin sauce and can it in little, you get can it in little jars because we do use it and I'll use it more now that it's made from scratch. So that was a good, good thing that happened. And it's delicious. <laughs> okay, so in here we have two teaspoons of garlic, two teaspoons of ginger, and one teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So next what we're gonna add is one tablespoon of lime juice. If you have fresh limes, go ahead and squeeze them. Put one, one, one tablespoon of it in there. If you have it like that in a jar, just measure out a tablespoon. Either way will work. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of sesame oil. So I don't know if you all use this or not, but it gives great flavor to many, many dishes. And so we're gonna do one tablespoon of sesame oil. Uh, I would, I would, uh, measure it over here just in case you spill some. That is correct. That is good advice. Measure over. Just like that. <laughs> A little bit extra never hurt anybody. Right, Paige? Right. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add our two carrots, sliced or diced, whichever way you like them. And then I did one whole red pepper and I diced it. It might be spicy. Red bell pepper. Oh, never yes. mind, guys. <laughs> it's a red bell pepper. And then I bought a big, you know, regular size can of pineapple chunks. And what I did is I measured out one cup of chunks and only a half a cup of juice. So go ahead and add that. Okay, what are we missing? The chicken. All right, well, let's put in one pound of diced chicken. Go ahead. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> it feels weird. It feels weird. So yeah. now we're going to get it all stirred up. We're going to put it on for five hours on high, and then we'll be back with, with rice, and then we'll have our Hawaiian chicken over our rice, and we'll tell you whether it's yummy or eh, just so-so. Okay, stay with us. We'll be back. All right, here we go. This looks so good. Paige is trying it. That was absolutely delicious like once like once you took your first bite flavor it's amazing 